With simultaneous equation, if you're given a situation like this, and then maybe you're asked to find and the value of y and x using elimination. All right. So what you can do here, as you can see, um, the coefficients of y are not the same. So it's not like it's that obvious to eliminate a y. As much as the coefficient of x as well are not the same. So it's not be easy to eliminate either of the variables there. All right. So what you can do here in this case, if you check here on this one, if we multiply equation number one by two, okay, so we're gonna end up with a new equation number one. Uh, so two multiplied by two will be four y and then minus six, okay, because of two multiplied by three, all right, and then uh, seven multiplied by two will be fourteen. So that will be a new equation number one. All right. So in this case, you can, oops, in this case now, force of gravity. In this case now, you can therefore uh, use elimination very smoothly and easily so. So if we subtract equation number one from equation number two, okay. So that's what we're going to have. We're going to have four minus or y which is going to be zero okay and then we'll have minus 5x minus 6 uh, actually let's write this okay so you're going to have minus 5x minus minus 6x equal to 21 minus 14 okay so in this case you're going to have a positive 6x minus 5x this side and then close to the 7 so here that will be a positive x okay taking the sum of the bigger number and separate the small number from the bigger number and then that will be equal to 7 so our x is equal to 7 and then you can say this is equation number 3 and then therefore substitute equation number 3 into any equation let's substitute it into equation number 1 for instance, okay. question number one. So it means therefore you can have two y minus three into x is seven equal to seven. And then three times seven is 21. So you have two y equal to seven plus 21, which is 28. Okay, and therefore divide by two both sides. So you're gonna have equal to 28 divided by two, therefore y is equal to 14. So y is equal to 14, x is equal to seven. All right.